Welcome to the second episode of the John Mayer series. And in this episode, we're gonna get loud. We have three amps in the house today. We have the Fender Deluxe River amp. We have the new Fillmore 50 from Mesa Boogie. And as well, for the safety purpose, uh, we have the Mesa Boogie Mark 5. So will we sound like John Mayer with these fantastic amps in front of us? Let's find out. We'll find out. Okay, in the house today, we have Eric. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Eric, uh, for those who don't know, he plays a lot on um, the local blue, blues pop scene. Yeah, oh, yeah. here and there, yeah. He's one of the figures that you see lo uh, lurking around in the blues pop. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you loiter around any blues pop, you probably see this guy mm. yeah, playing on the stage and all. So, <laughs> so say hi to Fooling, him. Fooling around the stage. Fooling yeah. around the stage. Yeah, okay, so it's, so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna play some John Mayer slime, and we're gonna use the three amps that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and see if we can actually get John Mayer sound, That's or right. we get close to it. Yeah. So the aim for today was to get close or as close as possible with the gear that we have uh, available to us. Um, nothing particularly fancy. I have for myself a parts caster um, that is uh, S type. I like to call it a 60 style uh, double cutaway S type. Uh, for those of you who can appreciate it, uh, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> I see where the reference is from. Yep. Yeah, so quite heavily. If you are a John Mayer fan, I think you know the reference. And what about you, Vinny? What have you got? Well, I, well, I have my standard, the, uh, the Sir, I mean, not standard, this is a custom model from Sir. It's a modern, modern, Sir Modern. They call it Sir Modern. So what, what, what we're gonna do is, uh, well I have this humbucker single coil combination, well he has got a triple single coil combination and we're gonna see if they actually matter to going, going through all the amps and uh, things like that. In the house we are also having two microphones, we have the uh, SE Electronics R1 ribbon mic and my trusty old Sir 57. That's, that's like an industrial standard, it's like you that's can't right. go wrong with that. So we're gonna see if the uh, dynamic mic is better or the ribbon or both combined together. Let's have some clean tones. Right, and then now we're gonna go on to my guitar and we're gonna do a simple one. To clarify, Vinny, what uh, position do you have on your guitar right there? I think I call this the second position. Okay. Do you think it's the second? Well, I call it the position four. That's what I've got on mine. So maybe you can comment in the section, <laughs> comment section below, and uh, let us know what you uh, think about all this. Whether it's position two, position four. Okay, moving on. We're going to go and compare some slightly driven, slightly dirty. For the driven tones, what I've done is I've uh, hooked up my double end special from Way Huge. You can. Uh, we just got to put a photo up uh, right now. And uh, basically this is a two screamer inspired overdrive. It's a dual overdrive. It's got two of these pedals in one enclosure. What it does is um, uh, it gives me something like this. crazy that sounds super I think I think that is like 90% at John Mayer's tone already well 
you can uh, tell us what you think. <laughs> um, the thing is that because it's a Joe Bonamassa pedal, so you know. So there's Joe Bonamassa on John Mayer. Wow. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> too much. Too much. And then another simple piece. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's all the pretty thick and warm, and like, but still punchy at the same time. I really like that. Sometimes I do wonder if like a single coil on the like a humbucker. I mean, when you are on this position, right, you're pretty much using just one of the pickup. Mm, that's right. I wonder if it mat matters and it makes a difference between a, a true single coil and a, like a humbucker split into a single coil. Just play a note on on this guitar. Back in play. I think they sound the same. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. I, I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I, let me try again. My tone knob is down. I just realized. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, my turn. Let's try again. This time I'm going to turn my tone knob it's back up again. Oh, yeah. It's there better now. My turn. Very close. Very I mean, similar. Very, very close. Yeah, so similar. Okay. okay. Let's move on to the next bit, which is uh, high gain. So I'm going to engage the second half of this pedal, which is going to give me more of an overdrive, uh, extra overdrive, and it's going to sound something like this. Okay, now Vinny, your turn. Nice. It's almost like there is this uh, overtone that's gonna kill you. Uh. It's gonna flood <laughs> through your... So, um, at this stage, we've done the clean pedal platform, which is the Fender Deluxe Reverb. That's like the control, actually. Yeah, it's actually more of the control uh, with a double overdrive pedal, um, which is the double end special. Uh, what we're going to do now is to move on to the Fillmore. Brand new fifth. Fillmore fifth. <laughs> let's, let's do it again. Brand is move. We're going to move on to. <laughs> we, <We're> gonna <laughs> we are going to move on to the brand, brand new, new Fillmore 50. 50. That's so cheesy. Yeah, OK, we're going to do that. <laughs> So Eric, what's so interesting about buying a uh, new Fillmore 50? Okay, well, I was really excited when the Fillmore 50 came out. Uh, when they uh, showed the promos for it, it said it had like two of the same channels in one amp, but it could give us this American voicing, which to me was sounded like the amp that I really wanted. You know, I love my Fender amp, but at the same time, I really wanted to get an amp with which could get a clean tone, driven tone, and a higher gain a lead tone as well. So this is what we're going to show you guys today. We're going to try to achieve those uh, clean, driven, and high gain tones in one amp. Okay, so let's uh, hear some clean tones once again. So from this, from my green, I guess you can tell that you know sitting right in front of the amplifier is the, the whole deal. That's this. I'm sold, man. This thing yeah, I mean, it definitely has a different kind of tonality and uh, presence compared to the Fender amp. To me, the Fender amp has a different kind of depth to it. This one definitely sounds a little bit more compressed in the low end, and maybe so the punch comes through in a different way as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my clean tone for the uh, Fillmore 50. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
It's nice. a very, very clean sound, actually. I yeah. Can't, can't describe it. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, for a lot of um, people, the clean tone is everything. It sets up um, the bass tone for their pedals, or actually for well, me in particular, what I like is that a clean tone of an amp really brings through the character of the guitar. So for me, you know, I mean, yes, I did spend a lot of money on this amp, but I really do like the tone of it. And, you know, it's not, I'm not just saying it because I, I own the amp, but I really do love the sound from this amp. Very good. Let's move on to the uh, slightly dirty channel. So actually what I was going to say was that um, rather than shifting to a dirty channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the mode because we are in clean mode right now so i'm going to shift to the uh, middle which is the drive mode for this amp I think it's got less compression to it. At the same time, you still, it's like you can hear every every note of the chord. Yeah. So in a, in a way, it's good and bad. Good because you know it's the true sound of the guitar, or at least the sound of the amp is not trying to mask too much. It's giving you that kind of distortion, but in a transparent way. But at the same time, every single mistake, which I'm sure you've heard, <laughs> <laughs> comes through I think, I think in not. a very, in a very unforgiving way. Okay. So this is more of single note stuff. Let's see how it goes. Like, I think like what you just said, right? Every little little <laughs> thing that you missed out, it says, hey, you play it wrongly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's one thing in a way that if a good amp is supposed to be responsive and it's supposed to like, you know, in a way compliment you, but at the same time also show you for what you are. I think that can be a good thing. Yeah, yeah I think so. It, improve, it makes you a better guitarist. That's so right. buy, buy a good amp. <laughs> okay, high gain. Hi again, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. It's actually really clear sounding. Like you can yeah. definitely hear I like but the other thing about it is also like the harmonic structure of it. You can definitely hear if you if you wind back, you listen to the pedal through the fender amp, and then you compare that to what you just heard yeah. Vinny play, that harmonic content is yeah, so I, different. I actually like the pedal somewhat, but that thing is very, very clear. A few more is like if you need clarity. Sorry for the pun for the song title reference, but if you need clarity, I mean M. Okay, that was very that was very intense, but I think for good good measures, yeah. we're gonna go with the craziest M we have in the room today, and that will be the Mark V. And we're gonna go through the same, the clean, the crunch, and the uh, distortion. And we are into the last section of our yeah. Uh, we call this. M shootout. M shootout. Sound, kind of, kind of want to sound like John Mayer. Kind of sound like want to sound like John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> and well, well, it's interesting. I mean, here listening John Mayer stuff on Mesa Boogie. I mean, unless the guy, the man himself, decides to do so, we will never ever find out. Uh, probably, we probably heard it in some of his recording. Okay, so we are going to the last section, and Eric is gonna play us his clean, clean tune. <laughs>
have to say that with, with that 4, 412 speaker cabinet, right? Just everything's just and, bigger. And change everything. Oh, I oh, forgot to mention that because the deluxe is on a 22 watt ring. That's right, yeah. And the Thilmo is 50 watt. Mm. This beast here is on a 90 watt. 90 watts. And uh, the, the, the funny thing about it was when setting up this amp, I was, uh, especially for the clean tone, I was like, oh, you know, uh, it sounds like it's a bit compressed. Then Vinny was like, yeah, bring bring down the, the, the volume for that the channel, channel mass, yeah. and then bring up the master volume. And suddenly it's like, oh my god, this headroom just came out of nowhere. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. 90 watts, man. So without further ado, uh, my turn to show you the clean tone with the uh, this guitar. Yeah man! Spanky! I think it's like the uh, there is the bass and there is the high yeah. crystal sparkly stuff like You can hear the bass and the, the high end and the same Yeah, thing. that's right Okay, so we're gonna move on to channel 2 and they call it Crunch Channel Mark 1, channel 2 I think I think it's like the, the funny thing is that well that this I mean I'm a little <laughs> lost for word here because the funny thing is that because when you hear people say that I I'm buying a Mark V you think of John Petrucci yeah. you think of the heavier metal guitarist yeah. um, Metallica like Metallica yeah. right I was just mm. <laughs> jamming it for fun Metallica yeah the thing is that nobody actually uses to play blues and look at that yeah the truth is the Mark V is such a versatile amp right. You know, and you know, I'm on the Facebook um, Mesa Boogie kind of like group whereby there's lots of people asking about different questions about different Mark Amps and the Mark V consist consistently comes across um, in terms of people's testimonials as a hyper, super versatile amp and I think this is super testament to that. Alright, so we're going to move on to my turn on the, uh, the Mark one. Wow, that was punchy as hell, man. Yeah. Sounded like that. I mean, like, yeah. There's, uh, there's so much headroom in the amp, even in the Mark One setting. My goodness. Okay, so high gain, Mark Two C Plus from a Mark Five, 90 watt. I think when you don't want to stop, you know it's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that is really good. I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In terms of sound, some, somewhat. Do you which which do you prefer more? I mean, look, I'll be honest. Like the bigger, the better. <laughs> Let's be honest. But at the same time, I think there's a certain characteristic of the two C plus, which maybe is also from my from my from my own perspective. It's like. I associate it with more higher gain, more metal kind of tones, and so maybe it doesn't come through as uh, as mayor esque as I would have liked. Then again, yeah, I think so. I think it has went overboard from away <laughs> drifting away from the mayor's kind of regular sound. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. the few more is a lot closer, but the few yeah. more is demanding. That's right. In your playing, in demanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah All yeah. right, so my turn.
I think that sounds like <laughs> that sounds a little bit like uh, if John Petrucci were to play John Mayer. Yeah. <laughs> John plays John. John plays John. Right. Okay. Maybe for a little extra, we can show you how the Mark V can actually go crazy. I will say that the Mark V is overkill for Bluestone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the second episode of my John Mayer series. I'm gonna go for. A, a more more series more episode i mean more series, more episode and i'm going to have more guests coming in we're going to bring in the the next the next installments we're going to talk about different john mayer guitar comparing to again my old trusty sir modern and see if they can actually i can match up to the john mayer's signature model and uh, we're going to go acoustic as well uh, so we're going to compare the electric we're going to compare the acoustic and we're gonna see what else we can do. If you have anything that you want us to cover or to teach or to feature, um, leave it down in the comment below. And I, I, like I said before, everyone knows the YouTube rule. You need to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that when we have the new video, you will be first to be notified. Yeah. Cool, uh, <laughs> how's it today in the Yeah, studio? I had a lot of fun, man. I think, you know, it's... For me personally, it's it's always a treat to get to uh, crank some amps up, you know, play <laughs> play some loud music, and uh, you know, generally have a good time with pals. So I'm very happy today. Thanks so much for having me, Vince. Okay, me, so okay. <laughs> time for some booze and cut this off. That's right. Okay, so okay, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.